Hey there, welcome to the Life Noggin. Here's a good life tip. Stay away from three-leaved plants. I actually touched some poison ivy and I can't stop itching. I didn't think animations could get itchy, but you learn something new every day here on Life Noggin. While I scratch away at myself, let's talk about why the itching occurs. For a while, scientists thought that itching and pain were detected by the same nerve cells, and then interpreted as different sensations in the brain. However, we know that that's not actually the case. Granted, there is a class of nerve cells called C fibers that can detect pain, itch, and heat, but that class has a specialized group that we can blame our itchiness on. Well, that group and that stupid poison ivy plant. I will get you back. Essentially, when a stimulus like histamine activates one of these nerve cells, a signal is sent to the spinal cord and up to the brain. Here the signal is processed in the somatosensory cortex, and you experience an itchy feeling. And take it from me, even though scratching may be extremely tempting, don't do it. It's thought that scratching stops the itch because you are now stimulating touch and pain receptors in the same area. The key word there is pain. You can tear and irritate your skin, so pull the hand away. Chances are, while you've been watching this video, you may have felt itchy yourself. That's because itching is contagious. In fact, studies have shown that watching someone scratch an itch activates the same parts of the brain as scratching yourself. So what started as a way for our ancestors to get dangerous insects off their body has now become one of the most frustrating sensations we have to deal with. Especially if it's in the middle of your back. Or on my arm, poison ivy. I'm sorry. Tell me in the comments if this video made you itchy, and what do you do to make that feeling go away? Make sure you come back every Monday for a brand new video. As always, my name is Blocko, this has been Life Noggin, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to keep on thinking.